Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. So we're in England and we're in Norwich and behind me is a 17th century manor house once owned by Lord Mackintosh, who was the owner of the Quality Street Confectionery. And they lived here, the family Mackintosh lived here for quite a few years. So yeah, Quality Street is the tin of sweets all individually wrapped in different sort of coloured paper. Yeah, very well known. So today, um, got to be a bit of a quiet day, but it's my brother's birthday. I won't tell you how old he is, so we're going to take him out for a few drinks. We've also got a pop to Norwich Centre to look at something very important. And that's it, yeah. Let's crack on. Let's do it. Cheers everyone. Happy birthday, Michael. Happy birthday, Michael. Um, How old are you? Old enough. Go on, tell us. <laughs> no, that's a secret. He's two years older than me, everyone, so yeah, work that out. Yeah, so what are we doing after this? I don't know. We're in Norwich <laughs> for a mysterious reason. None of us know yet. We do know, yeah. <laughs> Which will be revealed on Wednesday. Yep. Okay, so what we're we doing? I'm having a lemonade for my birthday. That's exciting, yep. isn't it? Um, well, uh, what do we, we're going to explore the city centre. I want to find an art supply shop and buy a pair of trousers. That's it. Yeah. Fantastic. That's, that's, that's exciting. Yeah, Follow that's us on really this interesting fun. blog today, everyone. Yeah. yeah. Watch this space. <laughs> yeah. You can come on a pub crawl with us if you like. <laughs> Who votes for pub crawl? <laughs> what are you doing over there? Michael is currently in the bear shop. I think they're antique bears, is that correct? And um, yeah, I gave him some birthday money, so hopefully he finds himself something nice. Obviously not, because he's just come out. Let's keep going. So for the next few days, everyone, you're going to be following us about because the real work is starting on Wednesday. So we've been to town. Um, we've celebrated Michael's birthday. He got some clothes and some things like that. So yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to go inside this beautiful house and I'm going to show you around. So come on. Welcome to this beautiful house, everyone. So this house was built in the 17th century. It's just amazing. So this is obviously the grand staircase. This is the entrance hall. Oak panelling. So I'd say this is the oldest part of the house and everything else attached to it are later additions, probably Victorian additions. But yeah, it's really nice. Um, just follow me and we're going to have a look. This is the dining room. Really, really nice. Um, we're using this table at the moment for working and editing and things like that. But yeah, follow me. Obviously, this is a family home. So, yeah, it's not like a museum or anything like that. It's, this house is lived in. So this is the projector room. So you've got a projector there. The screen comes down, 
You can chill out with your family and friends and enjoy a movie. Um, let's go to the kitchen. Actually, before we go to the kitchen, there's also another lounge here. It's quite nice as well. You can see through the kitchen into the lounge, so it's huge panes of glass. You'll like this kitchen, everyone. It's really nice. Of course. Kitchen wouldn't be a kitchen without an arga. Or a massive conservatory, which is really, really nice. It sort of ties the building together a bit. Um, there's also a cottage, an annex, double garage, and three acres. So, yeah, really, really nice. Um, Lord Macintosh, College Street. So this is the family home of the Macintosh family. And obviously this is a vintage tin. They don't look like this anymore, but they do look similar. So yeah, they are quality street. So originally chocolate was reserved for the higher class. <clears throat> and that didn't sit right with Lord Macintosh. And so he designed sweets, which were available for most people. So, yeah, they have been a quality staple for many years now. So, yeah, I'm very fond of them, especially at Christmas as well. But anyway, let's keep going. Let's go upstairs. Beautiful staircase. Really nice. I love this oak panelling. This is only a small section of the house because the other half is sort of closed off at the moment. Um, and this house is actually for sale. 1.7 million euros, no, sterling, sorry. Yeah, so it's quite an expensive house, but of course houses are more expensive in England. So anyway, I'll show you a bedroom quickly. Come in. Really nice. So I believe there is eight bedrooms and seven bathrooms or en-suites. So yeah, it's quite a big house and yeah, it's lovely. It's a very quintessential English country home. There's actually one more thing as well. There's a swimming pool, a tennis court. What else is there? <laughs> yeah, and a pear tree. A pear tree, yes, growing up the building. So that's it, everyone. You've seen the house. What are we doing tomorrow, Phil? Why well, didn't I get this one? Because... I don't know. The worst bit is, I was the first people here. I picked them. Didn't see this one. He picked the rooms and uh, he got the worst room. Oh, well. Better luck next time, mate. Um, <laughs> got my own car. <laughs> okay, everyone. Thanks for watching. Um, obviously, Wednesday is the big day. Uh, so bear with us until then, because it's going to be incredibly interesting. I mean, we're all anxious about what we're about to do. So yeah, we'll leave it at that. So see you all tomorrow, everyone. Thanks for watching. Let's look at Phil's bedroom quickly, because I'm not sure what he was moaning about. This room's nicer than the other one. I've got a TV. Fair enough. I'll leave you to it, mate. Read a book or something. I heard you're filming bedrooms. Come and have a look at where they've put me. Look at this. I'm not impressed. Truly feels like the groin of the house. But yeah, a bit on the small side. I've just got my camera there pointed at the bed. I guess that's the content I'm making. Yeah. Not even a TV. What am I going to do? 
There's a picture. Yeah, I guess I'll look at that. Gets worse. The bathroom's across the hall. Look. The light is outside the room. Took me days to find it. Look at this, that basic or what? No jacuzzi, just a plain old bath. Not that I'm gonna use it much. I use it for my weekly shower, I guess. Anyway, carry on. Just gonna hang out in the bathroom. Bye.